Hello everybody! Welcome back to another The Patrick Bay stream. Today we're gonna play some more Astro's Playroom. Last time we finished Sackboy A Big Adventure uh, and at the end of that stream uh, we started playing Astro's Playroom. Which is this funny small uh, platforming game that uh, is <clears throat> inspired by a lot of uh, I have something at my ear okay it's it's really inspired by a lot of the platforming games that uh, Nintendo uh, has made through the years I played the first Astro game for the PlayStation VR, or at least I played the demo. Uh, I really enjoyed that game. So, naturally, I was excited to play Astro's Playroom. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's not a very long game. I think um, I think during last stream, which was like 40, 40 minutes of gameplay or something, something like that, I uh, beat like a quarter of the game. There are still some secrets I didn't find. As you can see here, there is one of the uh, the artifacts and a puzzle piece that I didn't find. Another artifact here and two puzzle pieces. Here I found everything. Here there are two puzzle pieces. Um, so yeah. Oh! Wow, that's a lot of coins. Oh, so this is what we can do with uh, the coins. I like the controller sounds. Okay. So, when I push the trigger button, a ball will come out and I need to catch it. There we go. Gotcha, beginner. Okay, okay. That's pretty fun. Okay, how many coins is it? 1247. Okay, so it's like a hundred. Oh, it, it says so on the machine. It's a hundred coins. I also really like tension in the... Um, uh, in the adaptive triggers like it's really good new artifact what is that oh a PSP camera I did not know that existed all the details I don't know if I should spend all the coins. I don't know if there's anything else I can spend my, con my coins on. We'll see. Oh, so the puzzle pieces go on the wall. That's gonna look 
Very cool when it's done. Oh, PlayStation Goodie Bags. Oh, what is this? Ah, so that's an, that's an overview of all the artifacts. There's like... 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 artifacts. Alright then. Don't run me over. Spyro. And a rubber duck. Dance Dance Revolution. Okay, so... I think I'm just gonna... Hit out again. And see what else we can find. Out of this world, new speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Can you rock it to the finish in record time? We need to try that out. Maybe not now, but before the end of... Um, before we're finished with this game. Whoa! A gun! Cooling Springs. Oh, is this like a bomb or something? Whoa. Memory Meadow. PlayStation Labo. We need to try this out. Oh, okay, so PlayStation Labo was the museum. So we tried out the SSD thing, SSD Speedway. So I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Oh, what is down here? In the basement. Ah, so that's how you get down here. I was wondering how that worked.
<laughs> They're following me. Ah! Okay, so I guess once I've beaten everything, this cube will open or something. Will they follow me up here? Yes, they will. It's scary. Okay. GPU jungle. Let's try this one. Render forest. It's beautiful. But it's making me kind of invisible. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. See, now I'm not invisible. But now because of all, of all the green, I am. <laughs> Guess you'll have to live with that. Oh, there is a cat. Crash! This is awesome. <laughs> so they do not count as coins. I thought the fruits might count as coins, but they don't. What is this a reference to? I don't even know. More Final Fantasy? It looks like a Final Fantasy type weapon. Monster Hunter, of course, yeah. Also, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Did you see the crash thing here? He's in love. See ya. Just arrived. <laughs> there is a lot of cool references all over the place. Just arrived. Well, just in time to have a lot of fun. Whoa, I went in front of the bow. Is this uh, Horizon? Secret area. Oh. <laughs> because why not? New artifact, the PlayStation Dildo Controller. Nintendo Mechanics, yep. Um. Ah, scary. He gonna get out? Nope, he just wants to sleep. Look at this. Whoa, he disappeared when I punched him. Hmm. Leave zombie part. <laughs> Leave zombie part alone. 
I won't leave anyone alone. They can eat my laser. But if they really hate me, they can just punch me and then I die in one hit. So... Can I bounce on him? Oh. There we go. Secret area hype. What do you think this is? A Mario game? They, they attack me. They will hate me. And my family. It does feel like something um, Nintendo could make. Ow, ow, ow. Bloodborne. Oh yeah, I, I can see that with the hat. In that game you also die almost in one hit. Ah, these are triggers. Can you see it? this some sort of reference that we know anything of? It's some sort of mushroom um, infested thing. The haptic feedback is supposed to be cool in this game. Yes, it's actually very cool. But uh, I think it's also obvious that um, virtually no developers are gonna um, make any uh, whoops depth perception virtually no developers are gonna be this creative with um, did I get everything over here I think so. I hope so. So it's gonna be like... Um, what is it called? HD Rumble for the Switch. In a select few games they will actually utilize it. And in almost no games they will be very creative with it. It'll be a year one feature? Yeah. I'm 99% sure of that. But it is cool. It is cool. Sony's first games might be required to use it. Yeah, but... Uh, it's probably gonna be like 
oh, you need to implement this somehow, but uh, they don't really specify how. So, for example, in Ratchet and Clank, most likely it's gonna be like some HD rumble in the controller, and when you pull the trigger uh, to shoot, and nothing more than that. That's what I think. <laughs> can I can I grab that? Nope. Is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. in those pine cones. That's creepy. I don't want to look at you. But away. What game is this supposed to be? I don't... I don't remember the ori original title. Why go disc when you can go card? Tear away? I think so, yeah. I even think I have it. I think it was a PlayStation Plus game at one point. And yes, that is why um, Terraflop Tree Tops. That is why I have like 1200, 1300 games. Oh my god. I'm a monkey robot. Oh, so I have to physically do like this. Motion controls! So this is fun. Champion would not be a fan. <laughs> I think that's true. That's safe to say. Ooh. Got the secret. Oh, Mr. Vip Vip. I think that might be a reference that uh, 
I don't get because I wasn't that I wasn't there when you got that uh, that name. Oh, double VIP status. I want the coins. Still a little bummed I couldn't get a PS5 for launch. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, there's not a lot of games at the moment. Whoa. Don't get me wrong, I would be very sad as well. Ray Trace Ruins! But hopefully there's, there's gonna be... Um, do I have to bounce on these or something? Oh, could barely reach it. Hopefully there's gonna be another round of... Another batch of uh, PS5s coming here in December. Maybe by the end of this December so they can be delivered early January. A new TV deserves a PS5? Yes. You have a much better TV than I do, so... You've set yourself up for that February patch. Hopefully you, you can get it no later than February. I would be so sad if I couldn't play, for instance, uh, Ratchet and Clank on launch. Not that we have a release date yet, but um, it's probably gonna be early 2021. Can't wait to stream Demon Souls though. I I really look forward to. Watching your, your stream, the your Demon Soul stream. This is a weird thing to have as an artifact. PSVR processor unit. Not even the headset, the processor unit. The small box that uh, no one wanted next to the PS4. Whoa, look at that. Is that a Colossus reference? Shadow of the Colossus? Or is it um, something else? Maybe you'll find the headset later. Yeah, probably. There is like, I think I counted 50, um, 50 different um, artifacts. Yeah, I, I was thinking Xenoblade Chronicles as well. I haven't played that game or those games, 
but uh, then I realized, oh no, not that Centerblade thing. It's not on PlayStation. You can feel the different surface, and you can hear it. Oh, I can destroy it. Maybe I get something for destroying everything. Like in real life. Oh, a bow! This is exactly how I imagined it. Oh, so the, uh, the motion control doesn't work until you've actually pushed the trigger button? That's weird. Oh, I need to shoot these. I gotta say, the motion control doesn't feel as responsive as... Uh, as with the Nintendo... Uh, the Switch Pro Controller. Still good though. Trophy. Can you up the sensitivity? Ooh, I might be able to do that um, in the settings. Accessories, controllers. Hmm. No. Not here, at least. And I don't think there's any options menu here. Aimbot on that bow? Not too much. Just motion control. Okay, it's, it's not nearly as good as on Pro Controller. Yeah. Motion Control is just that good. Whoops. But my platforming skills are not that good, apparently. Look at this. Oh. I thought that would be like a... secret artifact or something. Just blame the controller. I've been blaming the controller for the past five, six streams, so... It's kind of my thing. <laughs> I admit to being bad, and the controller sucks. Whoa! Wait. 
Where do I shoot? Oh, I didn't see the, uh, the bomb thing at its ears. Why would he have bombs on his face? That's what I always feel is weird uh, with bosses in video games. Like... It's this giant dragon creature with iron scales. All around is its body, except for one spot, and that's how you kill it. How did how did that dragon creature uh, not see that coming? Mount motherboard. Um. Okay. Let's shoot the bird. I got coins for that. Another monkey suit. Zip the suit. Is the controller too loud? Oops. Oh. There we go. Almost died. <laughs> but the keyword here is almost. Artifact. Oh, so this is like the... Uh, PlayStation Move Wii Zapper Edition. VRE accurate. Get it.
there we go. Oh, there's more. Nice snowy landscape. Another bow. How are you liking the game so far? Well, in total I've only played it for like approximately an hour or something, but uh, it feels really good. Peter um, told me that uh, it feels almost like something Nintendo could make, and I definitely agree. I definitely agree. There is a lot of awesome polish. What does it say? Monster escape? Um, that Nintendo style polish, uh, I just love it. No, not over the edge. Ah, hmm. oh, I cannot meld it. But yeah, it's a lot of fun and it, it's free, it's included with every single PS5. So what's not to like about it? Oh yeah, I think it's like a remix, or so, like... It's not the exact same, is it? It's definitely the, the, the same uh, bass melody. Can I make a snowman? How big can this one be? I got a trophy! <laughs> rolly rolly. Will I get hurt? I don't think it's gonna get any bigger than this. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Best feature ever. Oh my god, it's an original PS4! <gasps> A silver trophy! Greatness awaits! Whoa! Promised greatness, delivered more! <laughs>
it was kind of kind of yeah <laughs> that's cocky it was kind of sad to like remove my ps4 from my entertainment center Not because I've played it so much, but uh, because I have a lot of good memories with my PS4. So it seems like the only thing that I can spend my coins on is this uh, gacha machine in here. So I'll guess I'll just spend my 1400 coins. Yeah, Labo. I commented, uh, I commented on, on that uh, during my last stream. Um, how, one thing is to be inspired by competitors. That's fine. That's completely fine. But actually stealing the name Labo. Yeah, the celebration of PlayStation history is awesome. What is this? Oh, PSP microphone. Talk, man. I never had that. The celebration is awesome. And for good reason they celebrate. Ah, that's a PS2 system. PSP was the pinnacle of multiplayer gaming. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna have to disagree. Where's my PSP? Oh, it's up there. Let me just show my PSP. I have this. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, turquoise. Oh, it's called Vibrant Blue, but it has some green tint to it, which means that it's interdimensional. Vibrant Blue. Do you have a Vita too? Yes, I do. I have a I have two versions of PS Vita. I have the the thing that actually is a PS Vita and the PlayStation TV. <laughs> oh, Bielstran. Welcome to the stream. We're just having some fun with Astro's Playroom for the PS5. Right now we're playing the uh, the gacha machine, spending all the coins that I collected. Ooh, what is this? A PS4 Pro. I'm showing off my swag. <laughs> there is not enough room on this stream for all my swag, so I have to tone it down a bit. Another artifact. APS4 Slim. 
lost some weight, but none of the magic. And it's an utterly rip-off. <laughs> you got them all now? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's just trash? <laughs> so, what is this game? It's a platforming game. It's a N Nintendo style platforming game. That's the best description, I think. Right now I'm just collecting collectibles, spending all my coins. It's a celebration. It's a celebration of the four previous generations of PlayStation. This is the PS2 generation. See, this is the PS2 Fat, the one that I had when I was a kid. The PS2 Slim, the one that I actually have now. And the blue disc. DualShock 2 controller. And memory cards. Remember remember memory cards? A multi-tap. Because controllers were not wireless yet. I toy. The Xbox Kinect 0.1 The original PS4 The PlayStation VR processing unit PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro Oh, you've <laughs> been streaming from your PS2 Slim lately. What have you been playing? Last time I was. Last time I watched your stream, you played um, Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake uh, in hard mode or something. You've reached new heights. New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Can your climbing conquer the clock? Definitely. Mega Man Legends. Oh, awesome. Kinda sad I haven't been able to catch uh, any of those streams. Oh, I've already beaten this one. Was this the GPU thing? Yeah, GPU jungle, This that's the stage I just played. So these are time trial stages? Network speedrun. I'm gonna save that for last. So, cooling springs. I'm gonna head in there in a minute. I will need to get a new beverage. So I'll be right back and we will play Cooling Springs. See ya! I'm back. 
Let's play Cooling Springs. And did you notice? Virtually no loading time. He has a small life-saving... What, what is that thing called? In English? A life ring or something? It's not called a life ring. You know what I mean. Probably gonna be a secret here. No? Oh yeah. yeah. Someone spent a lot of time on this. Whoops. A crap! A crap! Oh, so you can hit it three times. It floats. Mega Man Legends, is that, that is, is that a, a tough game? I know Mega Man games are tough in general, but uh, Personally, I've only played like, one or two Mega Man games, so I have no clue. Is it considered one of the more difficult Mega Man games? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. If you're still here, Icarus. Position platforming. New artifact. Ooh, a PS3. Uh, what is that called? PSI camera. I actually had one of these. PlayStation I for PlayStation 3. This ain't no toy. Because it's not an I toy. First Mega Man game outside a Nintendo console. That sounds... that sounds right, yeah. It must be. Whoa! No, I need to collect a lot of coins now. That I missed. Well, not that I missed, but uh, that I lost because of the death.
Oh, Mega Man Wily Wars. I've never heard about that. Is that a, a, like a classic um, Mega Man game like the ones on NES or... Obviously if it's for the... No, if it's for the Mega Drive it, it could... It could work kind of the same. For a second I thought you wrote, um, what is it called? Game Gear. And I was like, if it's Game Gear, then there must be some downgrades. Did they release any Mega Man games for any Sega handheld? Probably not. Ooh, I can hit the, uh, the boxes, the coconut boxes. Artifact, the uh, Dual Shock, Dual Shock Three. Can you say six, six axes fast ten times? Six axes, six axes, six axes, six axes, six axes. It it gets difficult after like four or five times. Remember the the six axis controller? Not the Dual Shock Three, but before it uh, it got rumble. Sony was like, nah man, Rumble, Rumble is a last-gen Nintendo thing. Mega Man Legends is the same game as Mega Man 64, the exact same, like same story or same bosses or everything. Very few differences, but gameplay and story is the same. Yeah, obviously it couldn't be the exact same, but... Uh... But basically the same. Do you think there is a... secret in that thing? In that box? Only, only some coins. Oh, I 
thought I thought I could sail it. N64 N64 version loads faster and has more save files. Well, that's the thing with uh, with cartridge-based consoles. It loads it loads just as fast as PS5 and Xbox Series X does today. Loading was painful in on. Okay, thank you, Icarus. <laughs> Loading was painful on uh, PS1, especially PS1. I don't know why, but. Like a spam bot like that uh, came yesterday as well. Spring spa. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so if I hold it in for a bit, then. And it gets charged. This works really well, actually. Obviously, I couldn't proceed without the secret. If there is an arrow pointing in one direction, I always go in the other direction first. I'm getting a lot of coins for the for the gacha machine. You see, always go in the opposite direction of the arrows. If you want cool stuff, break the rules. New artifact. What is that called? Pierce Moves Sharpshooter. Met with resistance. From consumers it met resistance. Is 
this the direction I want to go? No, there was something more I could have gotten. Frigid flows. Sometimes it's difficult for me to know whether one direction is the direction I'm supposed to go in or a secret area. And I wanted to go to a secret area. I guess that'll have to be another time. Oh my god, robot penguins. I love it. There's gonna be a secret here. Once I pull up these. An artifact? Yes. The Nintendo Wii Nunchuck. What are they actually doing? Except freezing. If this is not Mario, then I don't know what it is. You're so destructive, that's just my natural in instinct. Exterminate. Watch with all the cameramen. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Artifact. Oh, but charted. <laughs> it's kind of obvious what game that is supposed to be. Oh, so you love that snowman? Realized people would hate going the long way back, I guess. You actually get coins really quickly. In this stage alone, I've gotten 700. Those pillars get destroyed by my weight, but uh, not by my lasers. How was Sackboy? Sackboy was awesome. Great game. I would give it a solid 
a Dalton. There were a few things that annoyed me. For example, the grab mechanics. I could not get the hang of that, even by the end of my playthrough. <laughs> but all the other platforming mechanics, platforming mechanics, it felt great. So, and the level design is awesome, the music is great. Although all my YouTube videos are getting banned across the world. Because of the, the music they use. But <laughs> other than that, it's awesome. some more stages that I haven't played. First of all, um, the multiplayer stages. Those I'm gonna play with Retro Lasso. Once he gets the game. What is this? What reference is this? Oh, it's a zombie, so it's Resident Evil. More DMCA bullshit? Uh, yeah. But to be fair, they use... Um, like... Real songs, not just ones they compose themselves. Hotel Hopalot. It's just annoying to have to mute your your videos because the developers uh, used a song that that I don't have the, um, the license to use. I think during the credits in Sackboy, um, approximately half the time it took to go through the credits, um, it's muted. Like, why would they use a Lady Gaga song? Why would they use a... Uh, what is that artist's name? I forgot now. I don't even care. I don't mind. It's a little bit annoying to have to go and... mute all the songs yourself. Keepy uppies. Why did I get that one? So did I lose a secret again? Because I thought this was the secret area. I think so.
But Sakurai is an awesome game. If you try out try out Astro's Playroom and see if you like that game. If you do like that game, you will 100% also love um, Sackboy. Look at that dance. <laughs> Don't dance like that. I love it, I simply love it. Okay, let's get the last artifact of the stage. The PS3 Fat. I've got one of those. HD graphics. With great power comes a fat console. Do you want to see my PS Fat? I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Um. There we go. Oh, so this is my setup. My microphone. My stream chat. TV. Oh, Spider-Man. OBS Open bullshit There is my PS3 fat It's the very first one the 60 gigabyte version that can play uh, PS1 and 2 games And you can also see my PSVR my Wii two Nintendo 64 consoles and with the Pikachu hat there is my Gizmondo console a really weird failed console that was released in 2004 or something only 12 or 13 games were ever released for it on that shelf right there next to spider-man are i think i have four or five games four games for the gizmondo but i have one more on the way so i own basically uh, 35% of the entire game library. So this is my gaming setup. And there we go. Ocarina of Time, yeah! I have two two different Nintendo 64 games box that I show off on the shelf. It's Ocarina of Time and Donkey Kong 64. I have some more games, but those are the... Like, Ocarina of Time has a boring box art, but it's a game that means a lot to me. Donkey Kong 64 has some brilliant box art, so I chose that one as the other one. I also have Rayman 2, I think, and Wave Race, I believe, Air Border, and some generic games. Okay, so I have enough coins for 10 gacha balls. Let's see how many artifacts I can find.
Ooh, a PS1. I'm getting a lot of those silver balls. Gotcha Maniac. <laughs> That's probably uh, for spending like 3,000 coins. And the last gotcha ball this time, a PSP GPS receiver. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, so I don't have enough coins to get anything more. Let's have a look at the PS3. Ah, so I missed a lot of uh, secrets. So these are the PSP things. I have a PS Vita game. PlayStation Move. PlayStation I. The console itself. Whoa! <laughs> And this is the original one, the 60 gigabyte version. It had four uh, USB ports and all of these, all of these card slots. And as far as I remember. It used as much power as a, as a fridge. <laughs> and not a, not a modern fridge, a 2006 fridge when it was released. Okay, so one world left. You're so cool. I know, right? New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Master the spring to beat this thing. Already beat that one. Just beat this one. So... Now we're heading to Memory Meadow. Looks awesome. Gusty gateway. I want to punch the cat. I punched the cat. There we go. I already have enough coins for another gacha. That's the most important thing about this game. The gacha machine. This is like a USB thing. Oh, there's rumble when it uh, goes through me.
Whoa. Whoa. A lot of wind. Oh my god, what the hell? He jumped straight off the stage. And now I have to collect everything again. GG. GG. That's fun. Thank you, wind mechanics. I think that cat is the main villain. Not that fond of wind mechanics in general. Pain! I don't know why I got it. Maybe for killing X amount of enemies? What the hell? Okay, so I didn't jump off the edge this time, and now I got a checkpoint. I have no idea what this is a reference to, so I'm gonna smack his face. That's the only reasonable thing to do. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> I love the animation. Oh, I feel like I know this. Medieval? Then I did not know that. Never played that. A PS1 controller? You can handle this. Can you see what game this is? It's, uh, what is it called? It's, um, I have, a, I have it written down here. Death Stranding. Yeah. 
I forgot the name of the game. But, uh... Because I want to play it eventually, I have it written down. Oh, what is this? You need to play that again? Did you beat it or did you... Abandon the game halfway through? What the hell? PlayStation Mouse? You'll have a ball with this. There were some mixed opinions about that game, Death Stranding. Oh. I saw a lot of people calling it uh, Walking Simulator, the game. What if it's a good walking simulator? VR Golf! I don't remember the name of the game, but uh, I've definitely played some sort of demo. Okay. Come here, fly guy. Whoa, a lot of wind again. Okay, so I got the checkpoint. Why is this supposed to be fun? What? Because it's raining, I have an umbrella. That is cute. What game is that? What game is that? Nice. What game has a giant... Bird. Is it the last guardian? Is that a bird? I don't remember. Yeah, the last guardian, yeah. Sadly, I didn't play that game. I really wanted to, but then I never actually... No, I died. But then I never actually got around to play it. It's definitely on my list to play one day. On my bucket list. so good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard it's a it's a great it's a great story. 
It might not be the best game per se, but it's uh, some good storytelling. Also, now it's hailing. To backlog. <laughs> I don't even know if it's in my backlog. I don't know if I own it. Let's see, actually. I need to go all the way out. Game library. Um. Sort by... Not the most recent. A to Z. Heavy rain. <laughs> Heavy Rain is also a game that I really want to play. I own I own Heavy Rain. <laughs> Speaking of. Wait, so these games are not playable on PS5? Hmm. It doesn't seem like I have um, The Last Guardian. Oh well. One day I'll get it. What is happening? Fast lane fields. Why is he sad? Oh, he's not sad, he's just... Picking the leaves off the flower. So I have to use the uh, the touchpad for this. Not sure how I feel about that. This feels weird. I have to say. Wipe out! <laughs> it was a strike. Whoops. Activate all of them? No. They turn off.
Ugh. I'll take the dangerous way. Take my time. Hopefully there will be no wind mechanics. There we go. New artifact. A PS1 memory card. So long overnight pauses. So long overnight pauses. Icarus. Thank you for that um, very helpful message. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Probably only reacting like that because it's true. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. Oh no, I I missed the I missed the secret. I should have touched something. I should have touched something. Electro Cloud. I might have come around when you <laughs> were trying that Sackboy level with the top down view. That was, that was horrible. I didn't die 30 times that stage. That was at least 200 deaths. I wish someone would have um, counted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blow the mic. I can wipe, wipe blow it when you can yell at it. You're gonna go again? It's too hard to watch someone play PS5 when you don't have one yourself? Yeah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But thank you for stopping by. It was nice having you here. Thanks, Icarus. Good night, man. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Thankfully, I just passed the checkpoint. I'm actually soon done with this game. Fun hidden area revealed. Yeah. 
New artifact. Oh, the PS1 LCD monitor. Flipping genius. I actually agree. I've never seen one in real life, but uh, I've read about this and seen pictures of it. Okay, so I just have to evade, dodge. I just have to evade and dodge. The games looked way better on a small screen, yeah, <laughs> I bet. It's like when I played Nintendo 64, most of the time I played on my 15-inch um, uh, CRT, most of the time. You could barely read the text, that's how small it was. Is that infamous? Isn't that what the game is called? Whoa, that was close. So this way is for the secret. Wow. Infamous, yeah. I played that game even before it came out. Because I worked at uh, El Gigante. To those who don't know what that is, those people who are not from Scandinavia, uh, that's a giant electronic uh, warehouse like Best Buy. I got an invitation from the PlayStation distributor of, uh, of Denmark. Oh, the PlayStation Multitap. Most fun you can have with a right angle. They invited me to try out some of the upcoming PlayStation games, PlayStation 4 games. I tried it out for like 20 minutes. I knew it! Oh, I could have just gotten on top of those clouds. But why do it the easy way?
Probably possible. I'm gonna try from the next cloud. Because it's higher up. There we go. But no secrets. Oh. What game is up next? That is a good question. What I said during my Sackboy stream, I think I said um, first Astro's Playroom and then Spider-Man Spider Miles Morales, but I'm not 100% sure. But at the moment, because the PS5 is like the new thing that... Uh, people want to get their hands off and a lot of people don't have their hands on it yet I think it might be a good idea to oh my god this is so intense it might be a very good idea to play more um, PS5 games so I'm not touching anything. So either it's gonna be uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales or it's gonna be um, Buck Snacks. Do I get anything for lighting those up? I don't think so. But yeah, if you have any suggestions as to what I should play then go for it you can type exclamation mark um, backlog to see the full list but uh, I have to say that uh, not all consoles are possible or easy for me to stream at the moment. But if it's like a Switch game... PS4, PS5 game... Xbox game... Feel free to, su to suggest something. I can't promise that I will play the game you suggest, but I will definitely, definitely I'll think about it. Whoa, that was, that was tough. Wow. Okay. Immediately punished.
Don't hit the bumper. Don't hit the bumper. <gasps> that was so close. Got it. New artifact. Oh, this... The pocket station. Big in Japan. I've never seen one in real life. That was fun. Oh, the old startup sound. Can I turn the TV off? No. <laughs> there must be something in the back. Some secret in the back. Butt Racer. Is that Rich Racer? Ooh, the pocket station. Okay, so we're done with that stage. The list is massive. Well, thank you. <laughs> another silver trophy. What does it say? Oh, another silver trophy. And conquered worlds. Three-dimensional Big Bang. I'm not gonna collect all the um, the collectibles. Oh, you collected the four key PlayStation artifacts. Congratu- Wait, what's that sound? It's coming from the basement of CPU Plaza? You better go back and investigate. I better do that then. I'm not gonna get all the collectibles. On stream at least. I think I'm gonna try and get the um, Platinum Trophy off stream. Wait, we gotta see. No, I'm I'm gonna do the the gotcha first. We got a lot of coins. New artifact. PS3 Slim. Surely can't get any smaller than this. Well, it could, because this is the first Slim. Another artifact. That's the right. That's the smallest. Okay, maybe it can. <laughs> and this sliding mechanic, it um, it was horrible. Oh, trash! Another artifact. Oh, the PSP Go! No UMD? OMG! When I heard about this, I thought, I thought it was kind of like a joke. Because back then, physical media was still 
kind of needed. And these days it's useless. Okay, so another artifact. What is this? Oh, a PS2 hard drive. No, network adapter. I thought it was a hard drive because it says HDD. Hard disk drive. But of course I can see the... Um, the network cable. Let's have a look at the things we got, the artifacts. We got the PS3 Slim. Oh my god, it ejected a disc. The PS3 Super Slim. With no disc, we got the PSP Go. I like that it turns on like that. Oh, that's Patapon. I played that a lot. It's a very good game. Um, what did we get? We got, we got the network adapter. The sound. That's awesome. And then let's have a look at the PS1 things. The LCD screen. Multitap. What is this? Oh, it's PS1 games. The mouse. Stack of PS1 games. The first dual shot game uh, controller. The first PS1 controller. That's funny. I got a trophy from that. Disc swap. The art of detail is amazing, yes. 100% agree. What could I do with this? Oh, this is the overview of all the, um, the artifacts. So there are 50 artifacts. And I have, how many am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 36 artifacts. Not missing too much actually. Okay, so I guess I'll have to go to the basement. You're on a roll! New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Have a ball perfecting your time.
Ooh, the lighting has changed. Awesome. I never saw this. The platforming feels like it's, it's excellent. It's world-class platforming. Not my skills, but the, the design. These are some creepy sounds. Wait, is this inside a PS5? This is inside a PS5? I just realized. That's the front of the PS5? And those are the the air the air holes on the back side of the PS5. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, so where's the... the basement is down here. So scared. You're afraid of the cube. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm scared. Nineteen ninety four throwback. Okay. If it's gonna come at me like this, then I'm gonna get scared. Demo one, Ken's. This could be a good creepy pasta thing.
Okay, so I can be hit a, a couple of times now. It means there's gonna be a boss or something. Oh yeah. T-Rex tech demo. This is awesome. I have to say this is a great game. See a T-Rex? Only two hits? Will he be back? Yeah. Amazing boss fight. what to do. Or I can I can get coins like this. Great use of uh, credit time. Because usually it's just boring. Whoa, I got 
crash me. They know people are not gonna read the, the credits anyway, so might as well have some fun with it. That way we can get some, some gotcha. Some gotcha balls. Well, thank you for making a great game. Oh, and then the last credits. Great game. I played it for like three hours in total at this point. So it's not a long game by any means, but uh, it's great at showing the features of especially the DualSense controller. And the lack of loading screens, I guess. It's not really, I don't think it's testing the limits of the power of the PS5. But at least it's, um, it's a fun game. Also, look at that name, Mark Friend. I like when people have names like that, Friend. The surname. Anyway, it shows really well um, the new features of the uh, DualSense controller. Great game. Great game. I think there is a Danish and Norwegian person there, Christine Enevoldsen. Doubt any English speaking people are named Enevoldsen as their surname. And look at that guy, uh, that name, Nikki Tipsy.com. Jared Pellegrini, like the drink, P 
Pellegrini, isn't there a drink called that? Jared Mustard. I think it's cool that they included this game. Still with us? You're great. Have 100 cool points. <laughs> I think it's awesome that they included th this game with the PS5. I think they looked at what Nintendo usually does. Um, by including some sort of tech demo. Wii Sports, Nintendo Land. Stuff like that. There's always... Not always, but there's usually some sort of game that... Um, shows off the new features. With the Switch, it's the game called 1-2 Switch, but it was not included. I had to buy that separately. Not that good of a game, but it's fine. It should have been included, in my opinion. I'm just enjoying the, the music. I think the next game I'm gonna play is gonna be um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Not 100% sure, but uh, let's have a look at it. I need to know how long the game is. It's like seven hours, according to howlongtobeat.com. That should be doable in like three streams. It says here that if you rush through it, it's probably gonna be like five hours, but I, uh, I don't, oh, hang in there, thousand cool points for you. <laughs> I don't think I'm the kind of guy who rushes through the game. I like to play kind of fast, but I also like to um, look for secrets and stuff like that. Phew, that was a lot of people. Thank you, everybody. Now there is one more special person we have not yet thanked. Ooh, who's that? That's right, it's you. Oh, it's me the player and the true hero of this story. Thank you and see you again in our next adventure. The end. Oh, that's awesome. That, that's a good way of doing it. One more thing. Oh, one more thing. Okay, okay. Ready for the, for the one more thing? I like the floor. Oh, 
New artifact. Pulse 3D wireless headset, making things sound as 3D as they look. Huh. They look comfortable. Another artifact. Oh, that's the PS4 camera. HD camera. Camera? Looks like clamora. Get it? Because it looks like a clam. And it's a camera. Bunny. And bunny. The dual sense controller. It's in your hands now, literally. Okay, so I guess now I'm getting the PS5 console. Yeah. Oh, a gold trophy. Play has no limits. Number five is alive. What I've gotten the... If I had played on the uh, digital version, what I've gotten the version without the disc drive. Congratulations, you collected all five key PlayStation artifacts, but your search doesn't end here. Can you track down every artifact? Still missing a few uh, puzzle pieces. Not too much though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen puzzle pieces is what I'm missing. <laughs> I got a trophy from walking through this. It's a reference to PlayStation Home. That's funny. Oh, a lot of coins. Still counting. Still counting. Okay, let's see. We have a thousand coins, so we can get ten. Gotchas. The PS1. Oh, a chippy console. So there's not a lot of um, gacha balls left. 
So close to being done. Okay, so I'm gonna try out the uh, the time trial thing, the speedrun thing. Haven't done that yet. Where's the cube down there? I don't see it. Oh well. I'm just gonna go to the time trial thing. Network speedrun. Ooh, there are eight stages plus I presume some sort of ultimate run. I don't know which way to go. Just gonna run. a little bit faster. Let's see if I have any friends. Oh, I almost beat Pudu. World record is 32 seconds, that's crazy. Almost beat Pudu. I could definitely do it if I try it just one more time, but who cares. Space run.
What do I have to do? What do I have to do? I'm confused. Just have to punch it. 48 seconds. Is that better than Pudu? Is that better than Pudu? Come on. Yes! <laughs> Barely better. 32,000 in the world. Okay, so I'm only 8 seconds from world record. I can live with that. Let's do another one. Frozen run. tough because when when you do the hover thing when you hover um, then you release the hover button you don't uh, come to the ground immediately back down immediately. So. Wait, what? Time than me this time. Yeah, much better. I didn't know what to do with the. Like, I didn't know that I had to use the lasers to cut through the floor. But I don't want to try it. didn't
So I should just uh, keep on holding the hover. Didn't jump high enough? Slow end, slow ending. I want to see the leaderboard. 31,000 in the world. Come on. Yes! Climb and run. So I have to barely hold on to it. Okay. If I had another try, I think I could. I could do it like 20 seconds, 20 seconds faster. Yeah, at least 20 seconds faster. Okay, jetpack run. Pretty good. Thirty thousand in the world. Let's see what what could it did. Oh, I was I was way faster in my first try, dude. But maybe it was Pudu's first try as well.
popping run. Okay, maybe not faster than Pudu. Because I'm... Oh, I, I was faster. Hello there. What does it say? Bronze Heart? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing pretty well. Just finishing up. The um, Astro's Playroom. How's PS5, my man? It's awesome. It's awesome. In the beginning, I was kind of skeptical about the DualSense controller because it feels a bit cheaper than um, the Xbox Series X controller. But. Uh, now I am. I have the opinion that. Oh my god. <sighs> I have the opinion that. The Xbox controller feels. Like. More high end. But. Um, the features of the DualSense controller. Uh, are much better. Much better. Greetings from Finland. Well, greetings from Denmark. Are you having fun with... Did, did you get your hands on a PS5? That's probably how I should ask that question. <laughs> Has it been difficult to get your hands on in, in Finland? Just like in most places, most countries in the world. Oh, you're a PC only. No problem. Oh, man. So yeah, if you don't understand how I'm controlling this, I'm using the touchpad on the controller. Oh my god, it's so intense. <laughs> no! Those bumpers, they are certain death. start <sighs> it was a bad start anyway so now this is the run I can feel it 
didn't feel it. <laughs> with another bad start. It's not easy with these touch controls. But Bronze Heart, you say no PS5 here yet. Does that mean that you're actually interested in buying it? Or are you gonna stay PC only? <laughs> I know most games, well, I wouldn't say most games, but a lot of games do get released on PC as well, so... I guess it's not that bad of a thing to be PC only. But you are going to miss out of a lot of uh, PlayStation only games and, for instance, Nintendo only games. Whoa. Okay, so that was the run. 41 seconds. 16,000 in a while. How did I do compared to my friend Peter? Oh wow, I was way faster. I'm a legend. I'm a legend, guys. Oh, total time. Seven minutes. I'm 122,000 in the world. So I'm a bit behind my friend Peter, but uh, I don't care. How many coins do I have? Oh, not enough to finish up the... Um... I'm only missing two of the um, uh, puzzle pieces. Is that right? No, I'm missing more. I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know why it would say two. Anyway, so. I want to see how many um, what is it called I want to see how many trophies I'm missing oh a lot I only got a third of the trophies add-on what does that mean Got all the artifacts in Cooling Springs. Got all artifacts in GPU Jungle. SSD Speedway. Also, I do have all artifacts in Memory Meadow. Dude Raider. Collected all artifacts in the four main stages and the PS Labo. Puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces. I'm missing 12 puzzle pieces, just as I counted before. Got a secret gotcha. Don't have that one yet. Got all gotcha prizes. Only missing five. I think I'll get the rest the rest of the trophies 
off stream. Sent 10 bots flying with a single spin attack. Whoa. 10 flying with a single spin attack? Walked around with at least 20 bots following you in CPU plus. I, I, I think I had two or three or something. And then a bunch of hidden trophies. A bunch of hidden trophies. Fell 30 meters and caught yourself in the monkey suit. Oh. That's pretty cool. Beat three enemies quickly by punching them. I didn't do that? Oh no, I almost always lasered them. And I have no idea what these are. Okay, so I think that's it for this stream. This stream has been going for about three hours now, so a bit longer than usual. That was a fun playthrough of Astro's Playroom. I'm gonna mark this game as done in my backlog adventure um, list. So that's closer to five hours than four hours. And done. Seven games done out of 1,225. <laughs> okay, so next up is Spider-Man Miles Morales, I think. Or Bucks next, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Next stream is tomorrow. Um, first up is, I think at 3 p.m. Um, Central European time. My friend Icarus, Icarus Complex will stream. He's a great guy. He, um, one of my very good friends, also a streamer. He, uh, I think at the moment he's playing, I know in the chat it says Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I think at the moment he's playing, um, Mega Man Legends. It's either Mega Man Legends or Final Fantasy VII. Uh, check him out and he will stream for I think two or three hours, about three hours tomorrow from three to six p.m. And I think I will make him rate me. <laughs> uh, so Check him out. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.